I have no coding experience at all. And I'm gonna show you how to build a SaaS with AI in just five minutes. And it's completely free. So if you stay to the end of this video, you're gonna have a fully functioning SaaS application that can be deployed and actually sold for money. My name is Brock Messerich, and this YouTube channel is for non-technical people learning how to use AI in a very practical way. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Bolt.new to actually build a full app with AI, even if you don't know how to code. Let's dive right into this so you can actually follow along step by step and build this same application for yourself. Inside of Bolt.new, we have this awesome user interface. So here's a prompt, build a complete modern web application which makes use of the 11 Labs API to clone users' voices and then allow them to use text-to-speech to make their voice say anything they want. So here is 11 Labs API key. So what you need to do is you need to then come to 11 Labs. All right, so I deleted my API key, but you need to add your own API key here. That is very important. So what you wanna do is you wanna to come to 11 Labs, come to my account, come to API keys, and then you'll want to click create API key, call this bolt.new, and then take that, copy and paste this, paste that right here, and then you could copy and paste this whole prompt, and then go ahead and paste this into bolt. The rest of the prompt is the 11 labs documentation. It makes it easier for the agent to actually go ahead and deal with any issues or any bugs there are. Now it's gonna show you on the right-hand side, this code preview. It's actually writing the code for us for this SaaS application. That is what makes this platform so awesome. So let it do its thing and then we will go from there. I sped this part up, but it took about 30 seconds to a minute to actually build this out. And here is what we are presented with. It actually has the app in the code preview. And this is the initial prototype of what it built with our first prompt we gave it. So at the top, we could actually give the voice a name. Let's just say test voice. Then we could add an audio file. And when we add the audio file, it's actually gonna go ahead and then clone the voice that we use, description to kind of describe what the voice is so that we could use it and kind of store this for future use cases. All right, so let's write the text that we actually want our cloned voice to say, and let's take a listen to see what it sounds like. Hello, does this work? So there we go, that's my cloned voice. Let's actually add a little bit more so we could see kind of what it sounds like with more words. Hello, does this work? Wow, it does. This is amazing. Now that we got the voice cloning functionality to work, let's actually work on the front end user interface. As you can see, it's a pretty basic user interface. We wanna play with this and see kind of what the capability is with changing up how this looks to the eye. So let me write this prompt in and we'll go from there. Again, all of the prompts are inside of the free resource that I attached to this YouTube video. So make sure to click that if you wanna copy and paste the exact same prompts I used for this video. Now it's taking the prompt that we gave and actually writing the code for the new user interface that should look a lot better to the eye. So as it's writing this code, uh, I just wanna say this is pretty mind blowing that we could actually use AI to build an app like this. Um, I know that you clicked on this video and you may not have had much expectations for what we could actually build, but but the fact that I am not a technical person at all and I'm actually using this to build this cool user interface is mind blowing to me. So I hope you guys are enjoying um, this and I hope you're getting a use case out of learning how to use a platform like Volt.new or Replit Agent. If you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe so you get more no code platform videos like this. It really means a lot. So we have a new user interface with a toggle switch to actually go from light and dark mode. You can see the voice cloning on the left side and you can see text to speech on the right side. This looks a lot better. I'm just gonna make a quick adjustment. So I'm saying this is looking fantastic. My only critique of the dark mode is that the form box, they're still white. Can you update that and maybe add in another fun front end whiz bang surprise or two if you think of anything fun for a voice and TTS app. Here is the result of what it built us. So you can see the light and dark mode looks a lot better. And then there are a cool couple cool features. So in the text-to-speech section, there are there is a random text generator that makes it really easy to test the voice cloning and the text-to-speech. That is really cool. So let's go ahead, let's upload an audio file and go ahead and use this. All we need to do is add a description and clone the voice. You can see there is this loading feature on the bottom. Let's take a listen. Artificial intelligence is changing the world rapidly. So that is awesome. You can actually see at the top, there is that kind of animation showing that the voice is actually talking. That is really, really cool. Just, just, I don't know about you, but the fact that I am not a technical person, have not coded ever in my life and built an app like this in about under five minutes, it blows my mind. This looks really awesome. Never would have been able to do this if it weren't for AI. Now let's go ahead and deploy this to show you how quickly you can actually deploy this to a full web application. This took about 30 seconds in total for it to actually deploy to a website. As you can see, it gave us this URL here. Let's go ahead and click on it and see what it looks like. So here is our full web application that we built in under five minutes. Now that this site is fully deployed, 
deployed onto the internet. Let's go ahead and just try this one more time to show how cool this is. It literally clones the voice in like under five seconds and we could generate random text for it to say and then it actually spits out this. A quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And there we have it, a web application in under five minutes. So there we have it, we built it in just like five minutes. That is absolutely mind blowing to me that we could take an idea and turn it into a web application so quickly with a platform like Volt.new just by using AI. I know we're not at a point really where developers are completely abolished and we don't need them anymore, but I never would have been able to build this unless I were using a platform like this. So I think the opportunities this is gonna present is going to be massive and that it is really important to stay up to date with the new platforms and teach yourself about them in order to stay ahead of the curve. With that being said, I have a free school community in the description. It's called AI for non-techies. I am not a technical person, no coding experience, but I teach you all about AI and how you could use it in your business and your everyday life. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment. It really means the world. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoy your app and I will see you guys in the next video.